I'm Kenny from Mini Bow Design and today I'm going to talk about uh, mounting the bottom bracket uh, crank assembly on your Mini Bow Design number 7 recumbent truck. Now, uh, what you're going to need, or what, the way I did it, you don't have to do it this way, but the way I did it was, I took a piece of quarter by two uh, cold rope steel and I drilled an inch and five eighths hole right in the middle of it. Now this top part here, you don't have to have that, that's more eye candy than anything else, but it'll look cool so I put it on. All you really need to do is take a six inch piece of one quarter by two and find the center and drill an inch and five eighths hole, five eighths hole. Uh, then cut it off halfway and you've got a radius for each side. Neither here nor there. Anyway. Now once you get that piece of steel, uh, you can lay your bottom bracket shell in it, put it on the uh, framework and bring it down until it hits on the frame and then mark and then you'll know where to drill your holes in the bottom uh, to bolt it into place. Now once you get all that, I put it right on the bike and get it exactly where I want it uh, so that uh, this side is far enough over so my sprocket clears the frame. I uh, just clamp it there with a couple of clamps and lay your shell right in there with your pedals on it and get it exactly where I want it. So it's going to clear the frame and everything looks right. It's going to line up with your uh, deflector pulley. And then I just spot weld it in six places, three on each side. And that seems to be more than enough uh, to hold it in place. And that's basically all there is to that. Not a lot to it. Now, what I did with mine, and you know, everybody's different. Every one of these I've ever had, if I cranked on it really hard, over time they would tend to, uh, because of the chain pulling on them, uh, they would tend to warp a little bit. Uh, and kind of, when I was riding, kind of warp a little bit to the side that has all the power. So, what I did to mine was, the boom where I actually bolted on, I welded that last piece of boom, that last six inches, at like a one degree in the opposite direction. Just the way I do it. And uh, then you set this all up, and when you put it on there, it's one degree too far to the left. And as you ride it, it'll kind of melt in, and after a thousand miles or so, it'll be right where you want it. <laughs> that's just, uh, that's just me. So, uh, I, I think that's everything, just about everything to build this bike, short of upholstering the seat. And I think I did a video on that actually a ways back. And actually assembling the bike. So, <coughs> I've ordered yet another batch of Pfeiffer Techs to cover the seat. I'm going to cover it in black. Uh, it looks cool, got that black op thing going, and it doesn't show the dirt. So I'm going to wait till <coughs> I get the Pfeiffer Tex and then put it all together. And I may do a video on assembling it and uh, showing you how I do the chain line, which is basically just hanging deflector pulleys in the right place so that uh, the chain doesn't hit anything. And uh, I, I may do a video on the deflector pulleys because it's kind of a hard spot because uh, it's kind of expensive. So, uh, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have some fun today, and try to have a really great day. Bye-bye.